Chris, a tale of two halves here at the Giant Arcs as we come from 2-0 down to draw 2-2 with Ashton United. What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, first half, I couldn't, I couldn't repeat what was uh, going through everybody's mind at half-time. thought we looked disjointed, lack of communication, way off it on all the basics. And we deserve to be two down, I said to him at half-time. I think the only positive I can take out of that is that it's still 2-0. We still have an opportunity. Obviously, we need the next goal to give ourselves a chance, but we weren't compact enough. It was too easy for them. And um, we allowed them to dictate the whole 45 minutes. And off the back of that, we got punished with two finishes. Um, but yeah, I was happy at half-time. It only being 2-0. I have to give the players much credit. Um, you know, I didn't really go over the top regarding a number of things I could have done. I wanted to see whether they could turn it around themselves. There was a lot of discussion in there regarding every aspect of our game. And second half, we've come out and been more like ourselves and, um, you know, allowed ourselves to get back in the game, which I'm, I'm pleased about. Delighted to get a point after being two down at half time. But we give ourselves too much to do really than, you know, to go on and win the game. But from where we were, the position we were at half, half time, you know, um, I've got to be happy with the point. Yeah, we played some really good stuff in that second half. Don Wilson and Lewis Mans were getting on the score sheet. Things really come to, coming together from an attacking point of view now. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the pair of them, when, they've, um, when Lewis gets full, uh, fully up to speed, you know, he's been hit and miss um, because he's an eligibility to play in the cup, etc. So I think once he gets half a dozen games under his belt, you'll see an even bigger improvement. I think obviously um, Nico and Dom have been benefiting from Lewis coming into the team and enabling us to have a little di different dimension. You know, he scored a very similar goal to what he did at FC. But when we get quality delivery in, uh, which we did second half, he's always a threat. I thought second half, him and Dom, you know, led the line like they should have done first half, which would have enabled us uh, as a midfield to a bit higher and obviously um, have a bit more quality on the ball. And, you know, you've seen the difference in two halves. You know, I'll, I'll scratch my head with how we started the game. Um, yeah, we've gone about our preparation a little bit differently this week. Whether that's had any influence on how we started the game, I'll have to digest over the weekend. But I'm pleased um, they've shown great character second half and uh, enabled us to you know, to get something out of the game. Yeah, we conclude our run of home games with the visit of Hyde United next weekend. Is it just a case of continuing that final second half performance into next weekend? Yeah, I think, I mean, ultimately, it's not just a, the second half performance. You know, we obviously, 75 minutes at FC, I thought first half against Geisley, uh, we faded in the second half, you know, in that game. We've not started well again today, but we finished strong. So we're still searching for 90 minutes collectively. You know, we've had long periods in many of the games that we've drawn and controlled it um, on many levels. But we've, you know, we've ended up drawing the game because we've not been as clinical or we've you know, we've made a mistake to give the opposition something to get out of it. So there's still a, lot of, a hell of a lot of work to be done. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately the, pl the, play the players should have the credit today, um, certainly for the second half and how they've gathered themselves at half time to enable us to, to go on and perform better. Um, you know, it wasn't nothing tactical changed. It was, we just felt there needed to be more um, effort put into the game regarding when we're pressing, when we're not. And also, you know, to be more compact. And I felt we did that. We were certainly more braver, certainly more aggressive in the second half, man for man, when we needed to be. And that enabled us and gave us a chance to, you know, to get ourselves back in, which we've done so. So, yeah, pleased for that um, after an horrific start, to be honest. Yeah, thank you for your time, Chris, and best of luck next weekend. Cheers, guys. Thank you.